Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we create visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decision for your application. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so this is a second look at a um, drawing that we just did here, and this is a um, let's just go into the dimensions here: 47 feet 11 inches um, by a roughly 12 feet six inches to the outer edge here about 10 um, feet to the top edge over here and then um, eight feet three to the bottom of this beam going across which is a 12 inch beam so they had asked in reference to um, is it possible to put a flush mount heater in here so the answer to that really simply is no um, you cannot put a flush mount unit on a slope ceiling so what can you do is to uh, make a um, false ceiling and let's just go ahead and see what that looks like so I just threw a false ceiling in here and you can see that I've placed two 6,000 watt units going parallel with the structure itself and they're about 10 foot center to center and then I put on this side here just to give you a different uh, perspective three of the uh, uh, 5,000 watt units um, and I believe they're about eight foot apart center to center I don't remember that exactly to see if I can pull that up real quickly here and let's see what we got here yeah eight eight feet center to center on that um, now I'm going to take off the rooftop here and give you a look at what um, it might look like up on top so I'm not an architect, I'm not a designer. Um, this is just a visual representation. You'd have to have someone design this false ceiling. I don't know how far these joists need to be um, or rafters, whatever you call them. But this is just, again, a visual representation of what it could look like. And so what we have here is we have a boxed out frame inside of the false ceiling with a one hour fire rated uh, drywall. Um, and then inside that, drywall we have the flush mount frame itself which is over here and then the heater itself which is inside the flush mount frame and just to give you an idea of um, the footprint of heat so let's go ahead and look at that um, so here we go with the footprint of heat with the two 6,000 watt units you're getting a good coverage through the span over here and then also you get a fairly decent coverage here. And I should mention that from here to here is the center point of the heater. Um, also, you want to make sure that, you know, whatever this construction is, you know, obviously um, you need eight inches height for the inside of the, um, the finished ceiling. It needs to be eight inches tall so that you can fit the uh, frame in here and the one hour fire rated uh, drywall space. So obviously this is not structurally sound, but um, again, if you look at it from this angle here and we put the uh, rooftop back on, um, you can see that you know there's some added space that I'm putting in here. So um, this is your roof and then this is your false ceiling. So. Um, in any case, you know, let's look over here and on this side here, you'd have to box it in this way. And on this side over here, you'd have to design it so that the, you know, rafter system, and I'm just going to uh, call it a rafter system. Um, but you'd have to design it so that rafter system would, you know, work out appropriately for the spacing of the heater itself. So, uh, again, this, on this one here, 5,000 watt units, we have this one centered and then eight feet out to the left and then eight feet out to the right and then you could do the same thing on this side as well if this is the choice that you uh, decide so i just basically took the gap between here and here and put the three units there and then the same would have to be um, the case over here so now looking over here you can see that the footprint of heat is much um, wider front to back here um, and it's overall uh, heating is more complete than it is over here so this might be some a better option um, that would take a total of six units with six flush mount kits and um, again the false ceiling so in any case i hope this has helped if you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you'd like us to review your plans please send your information into designs 
at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and kindly hit that like button. We don't advertise, we're not monetize. YouTube does not promote us unless we receive a thumbs up from you. Your viewers are the best. Thank you so much. Have a great day.